Hey, how's it going everybody? Um, new to the YouTube world, um, but not new to the uh, world of, you know, uh, speaking to crowds, speaking to the public. Uh, I teach for a living. Uh, but anyway, I, I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel. Uh, not about a specific thing. I don't like to be limited to my options, but um, I have various hobbies and the various skills uh, that I've acquired. Uh, mechanic work, welding, um, different types of uh, electronics work, and um, one of my favorite hobbies is uh, night vision. Hiking with night vision, uh, riding bikes with night vision, driving, ATV, uh, riding, uh, shooting, uh, shooting pistols and rifles with IR lasers, IR lights, uh, illuminators. It's it's all awesome. It's fun. Uh, it's rare. It's a little bit of expense, but the smiles justify the expense for me. I originally started with a PBS 14, uh, green phosphorus and phosphor, and then I moved on to white phosphor PBS 14. Uh, each time upgrading slightly, but not too over the top to maintain the budget uh, for what I can afford and um, now I'm on to these uh, duals, these binos, these are RMBGs, uh, they're Elbit white phosphor tubes and um, you know they work great. Uh, these are uh, commercial spec tubes uh, but they had uh, great specs, the SNR was over 30, uh, FOM 2000 plus, uh, you know, um, all that good stuff. They've been good to me so far. I've just done a few upgrades to them, the, the mount. And uh, for what this uh, video is about, uh, we're going to be talking about different iris uh, light adjustment capabilities that are out there for night vision. And, you know, we already have one on here now. Uh, these are the day caps. Uh, day caps work great. They're the original option. There's ways to rig them on to your night vision so that... It, yeah, they don't fall off. You always have them for when you need to put them on and put them back off. Uh, but, you know, um, these don't allow for the adjustment of light to come in and out of the tube. It's set with one small little pinhole that you could probably not see, but it's there. Um, also, you know, um, I've, I've tried different options. For example, these Butler Creek caps, uh, they've worked great. Uh, so it's a flip-up cap with an iris adjuster that you insert in and a sacrificial window that you get from uh, various sources, Walmart, Amazon, AliExpress. But these work great. I had this originally on my PBS 14 and then when I bought these, I went with two of them. Uh, again, you know, you got to cut them, eyeball it. There's more professional ways of doing this. But this is how I did it and um, cut myself in the process. <laughs> but again, you got to put tape inside to hug it tight. And uh, then when you pop the caps, sometimes they're in the way of the IR, onboard IR illuminator uh, for, you know, uh, looking around. And uh, that was a little tedious depending on where you had it. Still worked. And uh, the reason why... These work for people like me, like us. Uh, we're we're enthusiasts, so you know um, we're not out there gunfighting. Uh, we're not at war with anyone. Luckily, there is uh, braver men than us out there doing it for real. And um, thanks to them, we have capabilities like these that you know that we can enjoy and take advantage of. That not. Everyone has them in different parts of the world, but we do. Um, again, you know, uh, this capability is, is it's just out of this world. Um, it could be pitch black outside and you can still see. It's so cool, uh, you know, uh, growing up and, you know, watching movies or, or you know, hearing about the, the real dudes out there using this stuff. You know, you not once... Uh, think of how cool it actually is once you look through a set. And I'm, what I really want to do next is look through a set of quads just to look. Anyway, 
So again, the Butley Creek caps, they're a great option. They're about 40 bucks a pop after shipping, taxes, etc. I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, but there's other options. There's the Matt, Matt Bach, Matt ba Bach. I, I've told, I don't really know the name of them, but they're about two something a pop, five, over 500 together. I'm assuming there's a reason for that. Maybe dudes out in the field have used them for real and had a real success and uh, they worked. So maybe that's why, but for the everyday enthusiast that's already spent, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars on night vision and you want to save in other locations and areas, I would highly recommend uh, something like this. Uh, this is a Neon. Uh, I didn't come up with it. Uh, these are just camera uh, screw-on lens adapters with a uh, built-in iris focusing and this function is so smooth it's not easy it's you feel the tension built in the thread pitch matches pbs 14 style optics thread pitches on the outside so all you got to do is pop off the day cover screw it on make sure the threads match and once you feel it get tight with your hand right there you hold the lens and you squeeze until it's nice and tight something else you can get are sacrificial windows for those that screw on uh, the 37 mil millimeter if I remember correctly um, and you can do that but for me I don't need that uh, if I need to clean it I just use air duster but then look at that it's flawless snap pinch covers uh, these are 37 millimeter uh, you put them on, pinch, and there you go. Great for storing, great for keeping light out uh, during the daytime. Uh, and again, you know, uh, this option is not something that I'm saying is uh, for the field, is for combat. No, it's for the everyday enthusiast uh, that just enjoys hiking and doing cool stuff under night vision at dark like the rest of us weirdos. Uh, but again, you know, here's the second one. I'm going to put it on. This one already has the cap put on it. Match the threads. You screw it on. Once it gets tight, hold the lens. Tighten accordingly. You might need to readjust your adjustments when you put them back on to try it since they slightly moved but I mean it shouldn't be anything too hard so three different options all work there's different price points yes there's other options out there but this is the cleanest most streamlined option that I've uh, personally seen again I didn't come up with it but I haven't seen very many videos out there maybe there are some not sure um, I will be making more videos. I have some that I'm editing right now and uh, various topics regarding night vision. Uh, the most previous uh, recording that I've had is one for how to uh, go about shooting by yourself uh, with night vision, staying safe, um, being prepared, uh, you know, um, out in your surroundings. I have different uh, locations where I'm fortunate to be able to shoot at. One's a private, one is a public piece of land, um, flat and elevated. Uh, I, I'm very fortunate to have it. I get to train in different types of environments and it's fun. Um, it's a great workout, stress reliever. But again, uh, for us that are doing this for fun, you know, uh, getting a new skill. Uh, I'm, you know, 30 plus years old now, so um, I've retired for things, you know, such as football, American football. You know, I like to work out a lot. Uh, but as far as, you know, a sports that we can play, besides riding my bike and, you know, using my kayak, night vision is the other more uh, fun way of uh, just getting out there, you know, being a man, being a dude, and showing new skills to my buddies, my kids, my wife. Let me know what you think, guys. Uh, um, the content that I'm creating, I know, is nothing new, but um, I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel and, and uh, you know, get used to talking in front of the camera, hearing myself, seeing myself, um, 
I don't do social media, so maybe this is a way for me to be able to interact with others more. Let me know what you think. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and there's much more content to come.